Elementary School Data Overview, ITEC 7305, Data Analysis and School Improvement, Katie Hayslip. Purpose of Data Overview The purpose of this presentation is to review and analyze the data of the Georgia CRCT results over a three-year period. During the presentation, I will present to you the strengths, weaknesses, and areas of concern. I will also analyze where we are compared to the district and state. Lastly, I will identify areas of concern in the different subgroups. Student demographics. As you can see, the student population increased from 2010 to 2013. The white, Hispanic, and Asian population decreased in population whereas the African American population increased. Student Demographics Subgroups The SPED population fluctuated, decreasing, and then increasing, while the free and reduced lunch increased and then decreased. The ESALT subgroup decreased from the 2011-2012 school year to the 2012-2013 school year. Third grade reading CRCT. As you can see, the exceeds is much higher than the state, but very similar to the county. In the 2010-2011 school year, the does not meet category increased, but did decrease from that year to the year 2012-2013. Third grade math CRCT. Again, the exceeds is much higher than the state, but is lower in the two school terms of 2010 to 2012 than the district. Fourth grade reading, CRCT. In the exceeds category, the school and district stayed pretty consistent with each other. The strength here in reading is that over the three year period, the school's does not meet area decreased to nearly nothing. Fourth grade math CRCT. In the exceeds area of math over the three year period, fourth grade teetered with the district in comparison with the county and state. In the last year, the does not meet category was lower. Fifth grade reading CRCT. Reading is an area of concern in fifth grade. Over the last three years, the school's exceeds category decreased while the does not meet category increased. On a good note, in the school year of 2012-2013, the school and state mirrored each other. Fifth grade math, CRCT. In the 2010-2011 school year, the district surpassed the state and school level. In the end, the school did raise the bar and surpass the state and barely outdoing the district by four and a half points. Subgroup percentage of third through fifth grade students meeting and exceeding standards. As you can see, the multiracial subgroup and the American Indian subgroup are not performing. However, the Hispanic population are doing extremely well in the area of math. Some 
group percentage of third through fifth grade student meeting and exceeding standards. Again, the multiracial subgroup and the American Indian subgroup are not performing. Also, the Asian population took a dive, as well as the students with disabilities. Strengths Over the three-year period, the school had higher percentages of students meeting and exceeding in math and reading compared to the state. They were very similar during the three-year period with the district. In third and fourth grades, reading was the area of strength, with consistently higher exceeds than meets and lower does not meet. Fifth grade math exceeds jumped way up and they also lowered the does not meet area. Weaknesses. Overall, math is a weakness as a school. In fourth grade, math percentages and exceeds dropped. In fifth grade, reading was the area of weakness, with the exceeds decreasing and the does not meet increasing. Area of concern. Overall, math is a subject of concern as a school. Analyzing the data, you can see that grade levels are inconsistent with their scores. A plan should be addressed and put into place. A plan would consist of focusing on vocabulary words as well as breaking down word problems. In both reading and math, multiracial students and American Indian did not make any growth. In reading, Asian students and students with disabilities went backwards. Conclusion Over the past few years, reading and math have been placed on high alert. The school has focused on using intercession to provide students with a double dose of these two subjects. Project-based learning will be implemented in math to increase test scores. Technology will be integrated to assist students with their reading disabilities with such tools as screen readers and WebQuest. This concludes my presentation over the data overview of my school for the past three years.